بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی ہیو این ادر نیو ویڈیو ریلیٹڈ ٹو سینٹرل پروسیسنگ یونٹ اور اٹ از کالڈ مائکرو پروسیسر سو ٹوڈے وی ول سی اباؤٹ دا ڈفرنٹ مائکرو پروسیسر اینڈ دا فنکشننگ آف مائکرو پروسیسر سو لیٹ سی what we have in this video as we can see in this picture there is a microprocessor and different connection or buses with the microprocessor so let's see central processing unit that is also called microprocessor there is a block diagram we can see on the left side cpu and a memory and input output and data is moving across the memory and cpu and input output devices and buses are used to move data from one place to another place and there is another microprocessor pictures we can see core i9 and core i7 and so on so these are called central processing unit or the microprocessor so let's see next is central processing diagram central processing or a cpu have different further parts we can see one is arithmetic logic unit and other one is control unit and then memory unit and data is entering into the cpu with the input device and most common input device is keyboard mouse microphone etc and we will get the output from the monitor or printer monitor give us soft copy and whether the printer give us hard copy so these are the output devices so one by one we will see about the different parts of the cpu or central processing unit so let's see central processing unit central processing unit or processor is the unit which perform most of the processing inside a computer it processes all instructions received by software running on the pc or personal computer and by other hardware component and acts as a powerful calculator we can say that the microprocessor or cpu is the brain of a computer it receive all instructions through the running software or the other component or hardware and perform the desired result and give us the desired result the cpu is placed into a specific square shaped socket found on all motherboards by inserting its metallic connectors or pins found on the underside each socket is built with a specific pin layout to support only a specific type of a processor it means that on the motherboard there is a place for the microprocessor there is a socket we can see in that socket we have to place the microprocessor and the microprocessor are designed for a specific motherboard so that they can easily adjust on that socket which we can see in the picture and they have different connectors or pins those pins or connectors are easily attached with the socket we can see the microprocessor functioning in this animated picture for example this is microprocessor chip that contain a very large scale integration very large scale integration or vlsi means many electronic component on a one place means transistors capacitors millions of capacitors and transistors and capacitors capacitors are organized on a small a square inch silicon chip we can see and it perform different processing 
we can see a data is coming through the data buses, address buses towards the microprocessor and microprocessor is performing different operations according to the desired uh, result. And we can see data entering in the different direction to the microprocessor in these animated pictures. And on the top, there is a core i9 microprocessor chip. Control unit. Control unit extract instruction from memory and decode and execute them. It means that the control unit perform the overall operation of the microprocessor and it uh, uh, receive or extract the information or instructions from the memory. The control unit acts as an intermediary that decode the instructions sent to the processor. Tells the other units such as arithmetic logic unit below what do by providing control signals and then send back the process data back to the memory. In this diagram, we can see the function of control unit. Control unit perform any task in four steps. We can see step number one, it fetch the instruction from the memory. It get the instruction from the memory and then decode instructions into command according to the command which you want to perform through the computer. After that, the step number three, execute that command and after executing, it return back that data to the memory. This is step number four, I'll store the instructions. So these four steps performed by the control unit that is the part of CPU. Arithmetic logic unit, another part of CPU. Arithmetic logic unit, ALU, is a digital circuit inside the processor that handle arithmetic and logic operations. Arithmetic operations means perform different mathematical calculations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and so on by loading data from input registers. After the control unit provides the ALU with the instructions on the operations that must be performed, the ALU completes them by connecting multiple transistors. As we know that there are millions of transistors on a microprocessor and then store the result in an output registers. Again, the result is stored in the uh, temporary storage areas. Those areas are called registers. The control unit will then move this data to memory. So, arithmetic logic unit means perform or arithmetic operations, as I have explained, as well as perform logical operations. And logical operations are also called Boolean operations or Boolean logic. In this diagram, we can see that arithmetic logic unit perform different steps. There is a shifter, there is a a status flag, there is a complementer and arithmetic logic area. After that, there are buses, data is transferred towards the buses and it will store into the registers. And control units control the overall operations. We can see in this diagram. I hope students you have understood. <laughs>